ever thought about how to lay a leopard and when is enough enough? In my mind, never. Let me show you how I built up the outfit. How you tie a little chiffon tie, oh. and I think that is really not purposeful, doesn't appeal. So mm -hmm. I do up every single button. I just take it and I twist it and then I'm gonna pull it up to exactly the point of my neck. Leopard print trousers, I have some from Zara, I adore which are more like a pajama pant. I'm gonna wear with a trainer, a trainer that you kind of don't see, but it allows you to wear a wide leg trouser and have a long leg. Having the shoulder pad in allows me to wear this and feel that these are for this bit in proportion. And then I'll put on top my favorite jacket. I like the length. I like the way that it's very wasted, mm -hmm. but it's a long blazer. And with a wide leg trouser, this is a very good shaped blazer to wear. So if you have a plain navy trouser, this is really nice or else it's about a crop, which is just to the waist. A lovely thing about Zara is they make great jackets, but the sleeves are generally always too short for me. So I put the bracelets there, then do another bit of leopard. So this is a really old Prada bag I've got like that. Once you're going into the zone, just go into the zone. When I was at Vista Village, I got this scarf, which I haven't done yet with this outfit, but I'm thinking, oh yeah. I feel elegant, cool. I might change my makeup a bit and make it warmer. And I'm just gonna warm up my lips with VB. And I'm gonna warm up my cheeks like that. Okay, we're gonna do Katinka, which is one of my oldest girlfriends. There we go. Really kind of warmed up the makeup in two flashes and the leopard print has come to life more.